Let's do it. He's just super smart. He can shoot a soccer ball. Goal! Recently, he took a pool. Can you turn on the light? Good job. I am Michelle, and this is Leonard's story for GeoBeats. Leonard came to me kind of in an unusual way. My husband and I had always been dog people. Do you find it? My kids are grown and one of them wanted a cat. So when she moved out, she just kept going by this shelter and seeing them there week after week and nobody was adopting him. Where's your ball? Close the cabinet. She felt like she really needed to give him a home. So she adopted him. Cool. And within six months, she had to move out of the place that she was staying in and needed me to watch Leonard temporarily until she found a place that would take cats. Come on. I really refused at first. I'm like, you know I'm allergic. I can't, I can't. And she's like, mom, please, you have to take them. Close it. I had cold-like symptoms for a while until we just adjusted. I went online and found a wipe. You just wipe them down once a day, and then we got used to it. Right there, kitten. Come on, you can do it. And I realized he's a super smart cat. Woo! Where's your mouse? Good job. I'm like, okay, this cat's got a lot of dog-like qualities. That was super shocking to me. Where's your mouse? Yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Somebody challenged me to teach him to roll over like a dog, and he can roll over. <laughs> roll over. Good boy. <laughs> a friend gave me a little pool table. When I showed him that he needed to hit the white ball, he could make some decent shots by hitting the white ball to hit the other ones. Sweet. My bond with Leonard, it's so wonderful. Jump. Jump. A boy. <laughs> I think my husband would say the same thing. He does have an attitude and he wants things on his terms. He wants attention, but he runs from you. But when he wants to be cuddly, then he comes to you and he'll put his head down and want to touch his forehead to your forehead or let you kiss him on the nose or let you pat him. He meows loudly in the morning, which is usually between 4.30 and 5 in the morning. He likes his breakfast and his dinner on time. He also has a silent meow when he's trying to be extra pitiful, when he really wants something. He's got a lot of treat puzzles that keep him busy. He just wants me to tell him he's a good boy and he did a good job. Wow, that was good. He's super playful. Oh my gosh, Leonard. We left the little mini pool table in the middle of the room. I think people were surprised to see how interested he was and how much he seemed to care about the ball going in. Wow, smooth. And how he would look back at me for approval when it did go in the hole. Like, look what I did. <laughs> no, not that one. Which one turns the TV off? He just became such an important part of our lives that when my daughter found a place to live, she's like, I realize there's no way I'm going to take him back from you. He's your cat now. Let's see. Good job, you're so smart. My parents come over once a week for dinner and game night, and my parents are two of his favorite people. Which one? All of our decks of cards that we play with have his picture on them, <laughs> and he likes to sit in the middle of the game. He's walking his way carefully, never really knocking anything over or moving anything, but just really wants to be the center of attention all the time. Do you need to go outside? If we're outside in the backyard, he wants to be out with us. We made this little contraption. It's a plastic straw that's attached to a cat harness so that he can come out in the backyard with us and not walk through the fence. Leonard, let's dance. It doesn't matter how hard our day is at work, how we're feeling or what's bringing you down. You always know you just have this little bit of sunshine at home waiting for you to take all of your worries away. We're so thankful that we had the opportunity to become cat people. Oh no. <laughs>